Hey everyone, I'm Anne Marie from Hello Basque. Welcome to the Hello Basque YouTube channel where every week we're talking about Basque country, Basque people, and Basque culture. Today, specifically, we are talking about Basque blood. This is a topic that fascinates Basques, people of Basque descent, and just more generally anyone interested in blood types. Like, Basques have some weird stuff going on, so <laughs> let's get into it. Well, before we get into it, I'm just gonna tell you, I am not a scientist, I am not a doctor, I am just a person who has read some things. So if this topic interests you, I encourage you to conduct your own independent research. But I will share with you what I have read. There are a couple of fun facts about Basque blood types I wanna share with you. The first fun thing about Basque blood has to do with Basque blood types. The Basque country has the highest concentration of type O blood in the entire world. Now, I read that more than 50% of Basques have type O blood, but that's coming from the Basque History of the World by Mark Kurlansky, which came out around 1999. So I'm not sure if that really rings true today in 2019, but um, I thought that was just very interesting that type O is not a super common blood type, but the Basque country happens to have tons of people with type O. After that, there are a lot of Basque people with type A blood, type B, not as common. How did that happen? Well, it comes back to the age-old question of where did the Basque come from? And so far, nobody really knows. It's still a bit of a mystery of wh why the Basque country has this high concentration of type O blood. The common theory is that type O blood is just some sort of mutation from an ancestor. But literally, if you start reading on the internet, some people straight up say that type O blood is the original blood type of the human race. Whereas other websites, if you really dig deep into it, say that if you have type O blood, it means that you're descended from aliens. Like it's not related to any other common ancestor we all have and that we're all just galactic creatures roaming the earth. If you subscribe to that theory, I mean, more power to you. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> what did I say? I'm not a scientist, okay? You believe whatever you want to believe. I'm just telling you what I've read. There's a lot of interesting stuff out there on the internet. The second interesting thing about Basque blood is that Basques also have a large concentration of people with RH negative blood. What does that mean? The rhesus factor. When you have your blood type, you're either positive or negative. So that just means that Basques have a really large number of people with negative blood comparative to the rest of the populations of Europe and the world. In the United States where I'm at, I've read that only about 15% of the population has RH negative blood. And I've also read that that's kind of consistent with what's going on in Europe. Around 15% have RH negative blood. In the Basque country, around 35% of the population has RH negative factor blood, which is not the majority, but it is significantly higher than anywhere else in Europe. So. That's pretty special. Also, when you factor in that most Basques have type O blood and then a lot of Basques have RH negative factor blood, that also means that there's an impressive number of Basques out there with O negative blood and only around 7% of the population worldwide has that blood type. So that's pretty cool. Now, 35% of the Basque population has RH negative blood full stop. But within that category, there's also around 60% of people in the Basque country have RH negative alleles. So like I said, I'm not a scientist, but if we're gonna real quick loop back to high school science class, to get your RH factor, you have two RH factor alleles. So positives will dominate. So if you have two RH positive alleles in your blood, that means you have a positive blood type. But also positive is more dominant than negative allele. So basically to have RH positive blood, you could have one RH positive allele, but you could also have an RH negative allele in there. So that just basically means that even though it might not be dominant with RH negative blood, a lot of Basque people have this RH negative allele as well. So pretty wild. The thing with the high incidence of RH negative blood in the Basque country is some people say that it's contributed to the Basques remaining such a small population. If you watching this have been pregnant, you most likely already know this, but that if a mother has RH negative factor blood and her baby has RH positive factor blood that can cause problems between the blood streams and could result in miscarriages back in the day before we had the technology to even figure out like how to combat that. Now there's a shot and it's fine, but back before modern medicine, it could have really put the baby's life and the mother's life in danger to have these two different blood types in the same system. So some people think that maybe the high incidence of RH negative factor blood in Basque mothers led to a higher incidence of miscarriages within the Basque population 
than the rest of Europe and that that's why maybe Basques relatively stayed such a small group. I mean, that's an interesting theory and that's one that I've, you know, just read, but like my whole life the joke was that the Basques are such a small group because it's a small place and everybody married their cousins. <laughs> Welcome to the Hello Basque pseudo-scientific video today. So there you go, a little bit of science mixed in with some urban legends and some theories and basically at the end of the day nobody really knows why this happens, but all you need to know is that the Basques have high concentrations of type O blood and Rh negative factor blood. And that's something different. We talk about the Basques being unique and interesting, and that is just one other element to why the Basques are such a strange and mysterious people, and why we are so proud to be Basque. Am I right? Who doesn't want to be strange and mysterious? No? Just me? Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. If you want to see more videos like this one, give it a like so I know that you enjoyed it. And if you want to catch more videos like this, you can subscribe to the Hello Basque YouTube channel down below. We're bringing you new videos every week. And in the meantime, you can keep up with me and Hello Basque on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hello Basque. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Agur, <laughs> agur, agur, agur.